show he has like, never heard so of pop out I, 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 I showed our dms on 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 stream our dms are not interesting at all by no the way. but it's but, crazy but then he yells at me mid-round and loses and then you know that's right. not my fault we can have our <laughs> relationship friendship arguments later on because right now the games are underway we got the first round of frosty and based on seeding uh, from Trackmania World Tour points, mm -hmm. I believe this is then the first pick from Alliance, and it does yes. make sense, it's an Alliance map. Oh, definitely, here we have the, the Frosty from Mudda. turnarounds, yeah. Oh yeah, this is definitely something Mudda would be good at. He goes pretty wide, but I think that's because he wants the momentum coming in. He did touch the left-hand wall, touches, so yeah. this actually looks like it could be an early ace for Kappa and Tween. Looks like they have it on lock. Half a second of a lead right now. Two soldier, the closest to Oh, tweet into the wall. Never mind. You can never say things too that certainly. And Kappa right now. If he slides out, if he misses the approach here for the 360, he could get passed up too. Mara will make it there. A draw with his team. But yeah, they got very close. Yeah, that was too close uh, for comfort here. An unfortunate mistake by Tween, because that could have been a very important yeah. ace for uh, Team Sinners. Now, I am secretly hoping that Team Sinners shows us some some pace that we just hadn't seen from them before, because uh, they lost seven out of seven games in the last season. I just want them to win a game this yeah, season. I really, really want them and to win a game. And make it two and make it three for all things that are, you know, good. It's great to see these guys succeed. And I mean, they're so veteran players that I just I don't want all of the all all of the best players in the world to be 17, 18, 19, 20. I like my players to be 29. Like that's that <laughs> you know that's just good. You want someone yeah. your age to root for. I get it. No, but they're so likable people too. Kappa and Tween, amazing. Having met them in person, always smiling, always having a good time. Yeah. And uh, they're just still passionate about the game. You know, 15 years after they started playing. Yeah, which is just incredible. The, the amount of experience that is behind the wheel of those guys, it's just crazy. Uh, here we go, Mudda going for the inside line. We see Kappa trying to go wide. It does give them more speed, more momentum going into the ending section. You can see it gets all the way up to the shoulder of Mudda, oh. but it is kind of close oh. here. It could end up in oh. what it looks like an ace for Team Alliance. Mudda getting a really tight line towards the finish in the ending, and that's enough to overtake Kappa and indeed get that ace for the team. They were in sync there like a boy band in the 90s doing classic pirouette moves. Oh, in sync? In sync, yeah. Like, like, yeah, definitely not specifically that because <laughs> uh, of issues with the copyright, but uh, you, they were in sync. Well, they yeah. really were. Yeah, 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 definitely. I um, mean, that was that was nice to watch. They got that ending down. 105.8 as well, great times. And we see a mistake in the start from Tween. Yeah, we see a slight mistake Ooh, uh, from the, for actually two mistakes in the start. We'll see uh, if Kappa also does that because right now uh, Tween is back there in the street. So if uh, Kappa <laughs> okay. also does it, he could be one of the back street uh, boys. But, uh, you know, you, you never know. It does look like Kappa is in the front right now, though. So it doesn't look like that's quite going to happen. It does not look like that's going to happen right now. Kappa is holding first place, actually. But uh, see what Mudda and Soldier can do about it. Going for an inside line. Looks like Mudda wants it that way as he's going towards the ending. <laughs> for Hosty. I never want to hear you say that the round is over until it's over. As anything can happen, Kappa with the mm. leap of Mudda! Oh, oh not so quite for Hosty of a second. Danik, well, your take on the current situation here. I mean, I just think that that was a, a, an impressive showcase of, of gameplay here. I'm so sorry. I don't, I, I, I don't know that many more references that I can call back upon, but that was uh, impeccable both from the players and from the casters. Thank you very much. Great round there. Alliance 5-2 to two on their map right now. Keeping the lead. Still that ace up. And looking to hold on to it. So here we saw Pat go super inside line. We actually see Mudda and Soldier do the exact same thing. It does look like that's the line you want to go for. It looks just a tiny bit faster. Kappa coming in there with a more inside approach on the flick. Uh, jumping right up to second place. Mudda going really wide, almost touching the outside wall, but that also you know, increases his momentum. It is very counterintuitive if you're just getting into track mania, but the higher you go on those turns, the more speed you get. So the closer you go to the outside wall, the, the faster. And that's why it's so impressive what yeah. Mato just did. And that's also why he's in first right now. 
Uh, and it's due to the fact that those dirt walls or dirt, dirt turns there, they are curved near the walls. So you don't need to drift as much when you go so wide. It's kind of like the curvature of the wall kind of pushes your car in the right direction. Also, I wish we had a bell right now on the caster desk to call for pace alert because this is fast from Mudda. This is a great run right now into the 360s. Could try to beat the world records that we saw earlier today from Milan Pack. And yes, it indeed, does. by a lot as well. 105.1. Oh my god, a great time from Mudda on Frosty. On Frosty. I mean, it's great to see the players be so absolutely impressively fast all the way from the start of the match. Like, they've only, what are these, uh, this was round five, so that was, that was round four. He's driven four rounds and already, like, imagine restarting a map four times and then just getting world Jim's record. Just dropping the world record, yeah. yeah. Up to you guys on that. The world record before, of course, was about, I think, th three or four times slower. It was a 105. Point four, but we can forget about that one. It's it's gone already. Mudda beating it. And Tween with a mistake up front together with Kappa making a mistake early. This could be uh, Alliance now acing again and running They're, away with it. It is far, yeah, that's, far between That's them. a big discrepancy in time here. So Mudda and Soldier, they know that they can save it. Mudda will obviously uh, save it. He, he is good at, at recognizing situations like this, making sure that he doesn't make any huge mistakes. And I think Soldier uh, will do the exact same thing. I think Mudda works as a great mentor for Soldier, honestly. It does. And I don't want to be, you know blunt here, but I really feel like this map is going in one direction. <laughs> I mean, it, it is going one yeah, way, Danik. True. We just gotta admit it. It's uh, lines 9-3 to three right now, and centers are not playing bad, but the pace up front there is hard to match. I mean, it is. I mean, um, you... I, it goes away in the blink of an eye, even like 182 blinks uh, of an eye, like then it's just... <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, you just... That is a fair point to bring up, indeed, that, you know, it could quickly just... Uh, quickly just end up that way. But, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not unthinkable that... Uh, sinners can come back here. Just no, no, you always just... Once on a green day, you know, they can really make it oh, happen. Oh, yeah. I mean, you just gotta believe, believe her and never say never. <laughs> okay. I am sorry for what you are hearing on the audio track of the stream but the visual track the 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 what we are seeing is pretty good gameplay apart from one crash there Mura again driving insane pace and he's likely going to close out the map here for alliance yeah he is a second ahead and once again Mura is known to recognize these situations so he will i mean between going really tight i think we saw multiple players they went super wide in that turn tween he is going i don't maybe he kind of gave up there but he went between going wide and going tight which is just that's the place you don't want to be you either gotta execute a tight line execute a wide line tween went kind of in between and then not yeah yeah he he knows oh. he knows it he knows it yeah 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 it's like, it's like, you know, you're going between two outfits. You got the suit yeah. jacket and the swimming shorts, yeah, you know? You, you don't, yeah, true, true. You can't go with the sweatpants and then, you know, a, a full-on blazer. It doesn't work. Doesn't no, work. it doesn't. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta either sweatpants or the blazer. Yeah. Or if you want to be really cool, you can, you can actually match, uh, if you, if you look at us, you can, you can match a good shirt with a headset, gamer headset, <laughs> which is just also a great fit, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's if you ever go a to a style. wedding, just just pick your best suit and then some headset that you like, and then just uh, show up like that. I mean, I'd be down going on the Met Gala with a headset on. Just is say that, it's like new fashion. Is that next streamer once we we join in with headsets on? Yep. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm listening to jams rather than your pointless conversation. Mm -mm, absolutely. Okay, so we have uh, Airwalk coming in. Once again, Airwalk is this very... So this is the, the warm-up, of course. But it's a very, I would say, wicked map. You know, it's it's definitely one of the more difficult maps to drive, especially in the ending where you have this incredible jump towards the finish where you have to jump from one bouncing block to another to a third one. You see it here in the start. These yellow arrows here are the bumper blocks. Not to be confused with these yellow arrows, which are the reactor down arrows. But they happen frequently throughout the map, and the players have to know what to do to uh, get the best lines from them. There's another one coming up right here, and some players tend to release to get a better trajectory on the bumper. It's a big jump down to a platform here. And we see, yeah, tiny release happening, at least from Soldier, to try to get an inside drift around that platform. Very well executed, and now onto the grass. Gonna try to get a good speed slide exit up the hill. Lay the gear. 
And we are all really waiting right now for that identity where we see the bumper blocks once again just with a lot more spectacular distance to it. Yeah, so here we're going to come up to some bumper blocks where you have to jump towards the middle of the road. Otherwise, you f as Kabo just did, drive straight into a pole. It is difficult to aim for the exact middle because once you hit the bumper, you just got to go for it. And here we have the identity. Mutter in the lead. One block, two block, <laughs> the third block, and into the finish. Mutter does get first place. Tween um, gets that second and Soldier coming in on third. And a really nice time as well. 108.4 does not quite beat his own world record here, Mutter, but that is a great time to drive in a match. And also, did you see how close Tween was? Tween uh, barely catching the back wheel. You don't need the full car on it. You'll see it maybe here in the start. If any part of your car is on the block, that is enough to get a clean bump. Yeah. I mean, and there are some, um, well, uh, some features of the bumper block, if you will, where you sometimes get lower bounces or higher bounces. Now, remember that Trackmania is a fully deterministic game, which means that if you land uh, with the same inputs and do the same inputs, you're going to get the same bounce, but it can be very, very hard with the exact precision that the players need to get the bounces that they sometimes are looking for, especially in the start. You can get a low bounce that actually saves you multiple tenths, but it's just almost random. Yeah, and I've seen uh, Mosa talk about this and practice it on stream, and it is a full science to get a good bumper on the end of Airwalk, because there is a release timing, there is an acceleration timing, an angle you need to get, but if you can get mid 108s, you're doing something right. Kappa in the lead here, trying to avoid the pillars, trying to get middle, Tween as well. Ooh. Is that a purposeful nose down from Kappa? I think so. Tween missing the gear here, gonna lose a lot of ground onto the bumpers. Can Kappa hold on to that first place, being chased down by Mara, who jumps higher on the bumper. But Kappa's oh. gonna hold 108.35. Like, that is super close to the record. Yeah, that is two hundreds away from what Mudder drove here last weekend. I mean, that's incredible. Good time, good time, nice time coming in and chat from the uh, from the Alliance players. Great sportsmanship being showed there. Uh, does look like Sinners can take home the world record away from from Mudder, honestly. Yeah, if Mudder is not gonna try to beat it himself, I think the the players know a 107 is within reach with a great great run, and maybe that's what they're aiming for throughout the season here, but 108.3 week one. I mean, time. the thing is, in the ending, you saw both Mara and um, Tween and Kappa, uh, all, they jump really far in the ending. Yeah. Uh, you, I mean, you would assume that there is a way to get a lower airtime towards the start of the finish. Uh, you would think it's, it's very risky to go for though, because if you jump too low, you might throw the round as a consequence. Yeah, true. But look at this. I mean, this is a great answer, I think, from Tween and Kappa to uh, map frosty there's no ice 360 here it's a lot of racing lines and they are gaining so slightly in those racing lines again find themselves in oh the battle for first mud i'm missing a little bit on the bumper what was the yeah i mean that's one of the the sciences of the bumper it can be a little bit difficult knowing exactly what's oh, going to happen to your car here soldier bumping at a different angle oh. but able to snipe it away from both and on cup of mist yeah that's a win for alliance i mean that yeah that's uh, everything alliance could uh, could have asked for there uh great uh well mata is going to be happy about that because he he did make that mistake i think sometimes if you hit the side of a bumper with only you know two wheels for example the, the two right wheels that that um mata hit sometimes you just get a lower bounce um and i honestly think oh tween having the same problem yeah. here so the, the signs of, if you land on it on the side, you can still get a clean bumper, it's true. But if your wheels crash the side of the block as you're flying, I think that's when you have a problem. Yeah, but you can also get it like, if you, if you only hit with two wheels, I think that's why people do it. If you only hit with two wheels, sometimes your car just gets shot straight towards the, the water way faster than it would normally. And I don't, I think it's because you land in a way that bumps you twice, like quickly in succession. Two quick ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 just a quick bop bop back to back. And uh, that pushes you harder. And I think that's what they honestly are, are going for a little bit. I've, I've at least experienced it uh, multiple times. The bumpers must be understood on Airwalk to be a winning team here. But Kappa in the normal racing lines has again made a breakaway. And that no side to get an early landing with front wheels is present once again. But here's Soldier, still close enough to make a snipe happen. Had a different trajectory on the jump last time. Going for a bigger release and then full speeding towards the finish, but having to back out of it a little bit. And Alliance will lose that round. Sinners answer back. And that's the thing about going for the very left side of that finish is that it does seem like 
you have so much speed, you're gonna hit the top of the finish mm -hmm. instead, or fly over the finish block. Um, you want low air time while still going as far left as possible, and that is not easy to execute consistently on bumper blocks that are just placed randomly. In the, well, not randomly, but just in the middle of the air. And I just gotta say that that spec the spectator seats above that finish have to be both the best and worst seats yeah. in the entire stadium. Because <laughs> holy, you are in an exposed area of, of the crowd. Uh, Kappa got, once again, one of those uh, little uh, mistakes there in the bumper block in the start. He got slowed down quite a bit, so he's going to be about a second behind. That means that Tween is now on the task of trying to deny Alliance as many points as possible, hopefully by getting first so that he can secure a draw, or by getting second to at least only give Alliance two points. But right now, if the standings remain, this is going to be an ace for Alliance, but nothing is done quite yet. The only halfway mark of the map is being driven on right now, and the identity, once again, is still there to be driven. Between getting a lot of speed down the hill. Also here, important to get so much speed, but not too much. You can't actually be too fast here to uh, crash into the front of that road entry. But here he gets back up to pace with Mudda passing Soldier. Now looking for the first place to deny any points for Alliance here. Ooh. Good bumpers. Is that going to go too wide though? Into the spectator seats and he will be passed by Mudda. I mean, that was an incredible low jump up to the last bumper, but the last bumper is shot quite far up into the air. Like, I'm trying to see if I can uh, figure out exactly what it is that they need to do in the ending to get a low jump, but I cannot seem to quite figure it out. I think the, the, the game you're playing is you're always trying to release just enough. So like, yeah. if, you, if you hit the second one with too much speed, then you will fly too far. So you're trying to release just enough, but not too much, you know, because then you jump short, so... That's what they are aiming at. And 8 to 6 Alliance on Sinner's map choice. So, dangerous situation now. A regular victory gives Alliance the map. Ian and Kappa have to be clean from here on out. No mistakes. On the bumpers can be had. Here we see Alliance only two points away from getting the map victory. This would be a huge map victory for them since it's Sinner's map choice. Um, which means that, you know, after this map, we have another Alliance map, and that, if, getting two maps in a row on the start is kind of detrimental, and I do want to see Sinners put in as much of a fight as possible. Once again, they lost all of their matches uh, in the last stage, so let's oh. see if they can get close. Kappa trying to overtake. Oh, Mada. actually might be doing it. Mada goes really far left. Soldier, that's an ace. Soldier coming in from the left side, acing it, and Alliance is gonna win the second map. Sinner's map choice, 11 to six. And he barely beat his world record by nine thousandths of a second. Oh. Mada getting the new record there on the map in that round. Well to played. To the win, well played to them. I mean, we're seeing world records on pretty much uh, all the maps we see being played today. Uh, that's um, great. Is there any map we haven't seen? I'm trying to think. Uh, Bob, Bob, Bob. We haven't seen Sinuous yet. You have not seen Sinuous. No team favoring that. Um, did we see a record on breaking? Uh, yes. Gwen dropped a spectacular time there. The 113 low. So I think Sinuous is the only map unseen. Yes. Uh, that's that's a little bit interesting, uh, to say the least. Now, I didn't get a uh, good memory of whether or not it's going to be picked this time around. We have, uh, we have because we, we had some black screen problems, some technical difficulties on the backside here, but uh, maybe we see it. I mean, it would, as you said, be something that uh, we could see Mada pick. Yeah. Grip, though, interesting map choice here. I think Alliance are picking this going in with that uh, line that we saw from, from Big earlier yeah. today. It would be the main reason to pick this, I think. Also, maybe finding, you know, they are better at the ending, the balancing act, but we'll see what they have prepared on this map. Maybe something entirely new. Uh, I mean, you would hope so. The line would be here. In uh, between. And they have it, and Sinners do not have it. Oh, sinners and we have not seen this line. So again, we see a situation where you can gain two to three tons for free in that section every time. This is, uh, yeah, this is this definitely going to be difficult for Sinners to come back from, because if they don't... Uh, I mean, if they don't adjust to that line within this game, that's going to leave Alliance to get, Ooh, as you said, two, yeah. to, two to three tenths um, every, every, every round. single round for free. So we've seen other teams find this. We also saw G1 not having it uh, going into their game against uh, Big. Yeah. 
And now 101.58, call the referee. What is that time? That is uh, just an incredible time. Is that... No, wait, so that's, we, we, we that's saw a, Yeah, we, we saw we a saw faster, faster earlier. We saw faster earlier, but still faster than the I previous world record. I think I'm mixing up the, the maps. It is still faster than the previous world record that was there um, before we started today. It's just we're getting spoiled with so many good records by other players that, you know... The old record is being Oh, Kappa with a huge mistake. And that's going to send him all the way to the back. Now, Tween is going to be the only one that can deny Alliance another ace. He is, uh, although in the lead, but, yeah, but here now, we see... The, the problem is the line that he's missing, the speed in this part here. It was here. more than 0 0.2 ahead, and now he's going to be behind. 0.1 behind. It is crazy the amount of time that you can get with that. And... That effectively means, like, every single round, Tween and Kappa will have to play 0.3 better. Yeah. To be equal. Yeah, just to be equal. Just to equalize them not having that strat. Now on the balancing act, 190 is the speed you want to aim for. Anything higher and you are risking it. You are pushing the car where, to the point where it's about to fly off the platform. Ooh, that is not good. That is not good, but Mata oh, is so but far. Mata is so far behind. It's not so. going to be an ace. It's going to be a draw. But that's still good for Alliance. They get that, uh, that extra point. Um, yeah, just think think about that. Like to drive the time Mutta did, you would effectively have to drive 101.2 pace. Yeah, if uh, if you don't do that, if you don't do the line, if you don't do the line, true, true. I mean, it is gonna be very difficult for Tween and Cop, but they're gonna have to kind of rely on mistakes happening from Alliance. They need to get consistent because that round where they crashed out, maybe they had a chance against Soldier. But tough map here. So, the question is really what they can do after this map as well. Uh, to get back if they should lose it. Ooh. Oh, Tween! This is the second time in a row we've seen a mistake from Sinners on that specific jump right there. He just went a little bit too low on the ramp cut. Now we see this, of course. Players, there's a reason they kept line secret in the All-Stars tournament, and it is specifically to use them to their advantage in the first step here. Now that all the cards are on the table. But, uh... Getting a massive lead this round, but oh. Soldier could be passed up here. Yeah, he uh, he almost touched the the left hand wall, so he slowed down a little bit to make sure he didn't. Oh, the split Janik. Oh no, Mora, what is this? Oh, he drives on two wheelers for such oh, a long time. Oh, he's doing it. This is fast. Uh, hold your horses. I think he's still slowing down a little bit in the ending here, because I know Mora. He will oh. make sure that he gets it at one oh one point four nine. Also spectacular from Mora to do that. I think he could push yeah. it more in the last turn, but I think he also realized he was far enough ahead and there's no reason to, yeah. uh, to like, risk that at all. The most important thing is getting the points, and they are looking very steady here, Alliance, right now. They are, I mean... Sinners have to fix the mistakes in this part, the start. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to see any more mistakes here on the ramp cut. They're going to jump on the left side of the Ooh, ramp, and they wow. cannot jump too low. That was what we wanted to see, both of them making it Soldier a little bit behind there, uh, getting more airtime than the other players, but Mutta will maintain <laughs> that lead. And here we see once, oh, Mutta going very far from the from the middle up to the left, and we see the Alliance players, they should be uh, doing a breakaway from that point, just yeah, because it's, it's so it's much crazy faster. crazy the amount of time it saves. Uh, and very unfortunate for sinners too, because, like, okay, you might think like, oh, let me just turn cars on, see what the opponents Ooh. are doing, and copy. You cannot learn that line on the spot. No, nope, you, you absolutely cannot. not. It's it, kind of it like so uh, difficult. It requires hours and hours of practice to see where to drive exactly. So, Mara driving on two wheels for quite a while there. Tween almost getting into a drift, but manages to catch that before it happens. And that is a slow ending. But Soldier is far enough behind for it not to matter too much. Alliance putting themselves in a track point position though. Yeah, seven to two now. It's gonna be the result. So Alliance, I mean, they definitely uh, they definitely have the favorable spot on this map just because of that point three extra for free that they're getting. I think even if Sinners drop this map and they go down three to zero, they still have the most experience out of all these players um, in terms of you know competitive matches. These guys have been competing since 2011. I mean, that's in track absolutely Mania. true. So they know like a match is not over, even if you're down 3-0. But it's just about thinking about Oof. what can you do, you I know? I think he clipped that uh, jump once again there. Tween. 
if, if I'm sinners, I would almost want just to get stomped on this map. Because, like, okay, make it not close. Make me not attached to a feeling that I could even win this. And then we go again on a map we actually have a chance on. But now Kappa, he needs to uh, he needs to overtake at least one of these two players that they want just one more round here on track number three, Grip. Uh, oh, and there he goes, getting those water bounces. And Mudder yeah. and Soldier are now going to be alone in the lead, like three, five seconds ahead. This should be map three locked in for Alliance. But regardless of the mistakes, I think they would have had it just based on the information that they had, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. They, uh, it was, it's such a big um, kind of just, it's not a cheat. It's just, it's the, having that information is such a big favorable thing to have. Like, it, it will make you win the map. There, there, I mentioned this earlier, but there is a saying that information wins war sometimes, you know? Just having better advancement in, in a battle can make to the side of the difference rather than, you know, your skill or whatever. And here you see it on display. Sheer information victory. And control is yeah. the answer for so the sinners. So we, we see uh, Mata getting that uh, 101.4, showing that he has the pace. Indeed, he... Uh, he does have the pace on that map. I mean, amazing showcase by Mudda. And uh, also Alliance with the uh, with the strength of the upper line on the plastic. Not the only team to get it, but definitely yeah, one of the teams to showcase just how fast it is. And you know, of course you can't know in, in a step one, but I think KC and, and BDS, right? With their match being rescheduled, if they didn't have this line, they now have the chance to Oh line. yeah, that's the thing. Both this line, but also the bug slide line. The bug slide line on Vortex. Yeah, which is just, that is so, like that's a disgusting line. That's saved so much time as well. Sinners are down 3-0. Can they make a comeback on Control? They chose this map. It is, I would say, suited to their skill set, being mostly normal driving here, mostly old school with some technical turns, but Mada and Soldier can also play that game. Well, the thing about control now mm. is that it's Alliance's map choice. Um, so you would. No, this should be Sinners. Map four. I oh, think yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That's me. I can't Ooh, count. Oh, soldier with a mistake. Counting to four can be difficult virtually. Okay? <laughs> this time <laughs> requires a degree or studying physics or something. Yeah, I mean, who would study <laughs> physics? That's uh, numbers and such? Damn. Damn, it seems boring. I'd rather mm. study cars. Here yeah, I mean, we go into the ending of control. This is a no brakes part. Normally you drift there, but you drive over a no brakes block. And then identity, the obstacle part in the ending here. Jump up on the ball. Oh, tween. tween missing it. Soldier, missing soldier it well. also missing it. They're restarting at the same. No, that's not on Kappa. But like that, that could have been an important. Kappa might snipe this. Kappa might with the inside. Oh, 100. What a taking the lead. 15 thousandths of a second. That is. But I mean, able to secure a draw though, so it's not too bad. Do you do you, like? It sounds so crazy to me to say fourteen thousandths of a second. One thousandths of a second is just. I mean, a tenth of a second is fast. Yep. A hundredth of a second—that's like faster than a blink. Um, a, a thousandth of a second. A thousand of those things can happen in one second. That's crazy. Yep, that is the margins they're playing at, and. I, I, I've had this feeling for a bit that maybe we should get one more digit on the timer. It would look <laughs> crazy, but just to decide tiebreakers, I don't know if it's possible to even calculate that, you know? And so the 10,000s? Right yeah, no, yeah, right now the tiebreakers are calculated by whoever was first on the previous checkpoint. So if they tie at the finish line, who was first on the last checkpoint? And yeah. that's a pretty good tiebreaker, but it would be exciting to, you know, oh, Okay, this record is kind of optimized, but maybe I can improve it by one ten thousandth of a second. That would be insane. At that point, oh, might be a little bit, uh, little a bit. little bit too low jump there coming in from Team Sinners. And now Soldier and Mara, they are in a favorable spot. Kappa, he is trying to hold that first place. Want to make sure to deny nice as line. many points from Alliance as possible, getting that draw in. But it is shoulder to shoulder, neck to neck. All the players, they're driving so close to each other. Jump. It's hard to see who's going to get this home. That was a low Ooh. jump, really low jump Lance coming from Soldier. Clean. Both the blue players trying their best, but Kappa is going to look to hold that leader, and he will by just six hundredths of a second and a great time 110.6 that is close to the record i mean yeah <laughs> i love that is uh, close, close to the record, to the record. <laughs> I, mean, that's a, uh, I mean i i like that 110.6 like, though is a fantastic time it is a great great time um 
And it, it shows that Sinners, they are ready to clap back right now. They just need to do so four maps in a row. <laughs> just, just four maps in a row. Just win. Just win. Just if they drive faster than the opponent cars, they can't lose. And that's a fact. If they copy the world record inputs, they'll be first every time. Well, not necessarily. We've seen a lot of world records getting broken. So just copy the new world records inputs. Just invent new world records every round. Yeah. <laughs> seems seems genius. Not with a mistake. Kappa right now currently doing that strategy we talked about. Driving faster, getting a good bobsleigh access. Well, this bobsleigh is not easy at all to hit. Especially with the lineup you have for the jump. Yeah. And that was a big slowdown from soldiers. Well, Sinners might be able to take home uh, an, an ace. ace right now. But the jumps at the ending remain. And the thing about this, you're going for such an inside approach here. It's the best way to set it up. And then you have to time the exit point and just barely get the bounce across. Queen catching up to Kappa, but Kappa also surviving the jump. Most important thing. And they're able to save that last one to get the round victory and the ace. Five points to two now. I mean, that is a really good showing here coming in from Sinners. I think they have a solid chance of taking home the victory here on this map. And it, it sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you just need that run one map victory to start the snowball effect, to start the the, the motivation, the, the yeah. whole... Like, uh, like this, this is not at all over, right? We had, I think it was Solary G1 last season, where G1 were looking so out. Yeah. It was like a 9 to 4 or something. And then they double ace to get back, and then they won another map to make it like a best of seven. So nothing is over till it's over. And I mean, uh, we've seen reverse sweeps before, so it can definitely happen. Sinners just has to pull it out right now. They are on first and second. Couple looking to be on a great pace right now. Modern Soldier half a second and a second behind. So, I mean, it is looking good. Mono trying to overtake Tween, trying to make sure that they don't get aced back to back. But it is going to be difficult because Tween also has a great ending once we come into the identity. Such a nail by the race here. Look at Mono just creeping closer and closer. Low jump might get him there. Bounces later than Tween, but Tween's going to land earlier. And oh, never mind. Mono getting the speed there. Paying off. Might even catch up to Kappa, but he clips. And, and so does Tween. Tween having to respawn. Soldier will be inheriting second place. And Kappa. Dropping a great time. Not world record. No, but a really great time, though. And uh, it is going to be a draw because, unfortunately, Tween made that mistake. If uh, if he just would have saved it, that would have been an ace. But that does not matter because Sinners are still three points ahead. And they look like they have the pace to continue this lead. They do. I mean, as long as they keep trading draws here, they're going to get to 10 first. If they can keep holding this gap, this margin, but that is an early mistake from Kappa. And that's going to send the alarm bells off in the center's camp. Because right now, Tween has to play this 2v1. Alliance will be aware of that split being two and a half seconds now. Oh, that's a lot of airtime coming in from Soldier. I think we've seen Soldier in general on this map be a little bit slower there on the pace. Um, which means that Tween, once again, can jump up next to Mada and Kappa. He is two seconds ahead, but we've seen multiple mistakes coming into the identity. Also right here for the first jump, uh, a mistake there also costs at least one and a half seconds. So Kappa is not all out yet, but Tween is definitely looking to make this a draw at the very least. Yeah, and here's the question. Do you try to go for the ace here with Soldier pushing, or do you secure the win here with Mada pushing and Soldier at least being there? not, you know, because you can't lose more points now. No. It looks I like they're going for Mada pushing it and Soldier safing, and we'll see if Mada can win this one versus one up front. Tween, low jump here, trying to land early, instant Ooh. five! Ooh, four hundredths. That was very close, and I think that was the right call, making sure that Mada just full send it, uh, trying to maintain that first place, and then Soldier could because uh, Tween obviously also went really fast trying to overtake Mada, and there's a slight chance that he makes a mistake, and then Soldier would be there to take home the ace. That is the first time we've heard the announcer say track point for sinners this game, and they do have seven to their name. An ace necessary now to close out the map. And Alliance are only two points behind them. They are. I mean, it's getting really close right now. Uh, I think Sinners will be able to take this home. Kappa once again in the lead. Tween 
pretty close. And Tween has been on first place so many times on this map. So if he just takes that pace uh, and, and applies it to this round as well, he should be able to overtake at least Soldier. Ooh, but also nice. Mara here on this left hander getting a lot of speed. That's going to get carried into this Ooh. turn as well. He might be able to jump up to first, but getting such a sideways landing out of that uh, Bob Slate turn. Now, Alliance looking for the ace. They have two tons of a lead. Up to Soldier. And this is holdable. They could actually take the lead of the map right now and try to get a 4 0 sweep against Sinners. See Tween right now trailing, still trying to catch up, but Soldier holds on so well. Kappa joining him the last jump. Are they going to get an ace here? 8 to 7, the scoreline. They will get it. That is impressive from Alliance coming back from what looked like a very bad deficit in points. But now they're going to be in the lead 8-7. to seven. So they just need to get a match victory. Uh, so first and third. And that's going to give them the map point and the match point. And um, the times they drove now were so fast too. Both players dropping, you know, 110.5 and 110.8. That's like, that's a crazy consistency yeah. to have in a team. So, Sinners, I mean, high pressure situation right now. You gotta, you gotta drive close to the world record pace to win this. And this is like, you sweat during these situations, like... Oh yeah, it's hands trembling, it is all bunch of nerves, oh, but such a great landing. Jump. Yeah, that was beautifully executed by Tween, making sure that he got a early landing, getting the tight left-hander, getting closer to Mata, both Kappa and Tween, uh, getting... Oh, oh, that was beautiful that as well. That was crazy fast from Tween, landing so early there, and the speed is there, and now the wobbly exit though, he again has that trouble on the exit of the bobsleigh, Kappa getting it good, keeping the first place for his team. They can afford a draw, but they cannot afford the loss, as you said. Where is Tween? Is he getting any closer in fourth? Has to get past Soldier here to make it a little bit prettier on the scoreline, because Mudda could close this out by passing Kappa. Bunch oh. of battles going on, but Tween has made it up to third. They will not lose if this remains, and Kappa <gasps> might get first! Close jump! Oh my god, that, oh, that, that the, was the risky line from Tween to make sure he got Ooh. third. That was a little bit spooky, but now it's nine to nine. This, uh, this will be decided within the next couple of rounds. Let's hear it for the team you hope to win. Team Alliance or Team Sinners in chat. And the craziest thing for Sinners is if they win this, they still have three more maps to go after that. But, oh, Tween's had some troubles in the start. Hit the water, had to adapt his line, able to keep within three tenths though not losing more than that at least but yeah it's a long way back for sinners but every journey starts with a single step and the step here is getting first and third that's all they need to close out this map and put it to map five at least kappa is in the lead so he can make sure that they get a get a draw oh, which would be good oh more. kappa with such a wonky landing and that's gonna put both the alliance team members far away in the lead are they gonna close it out are they gonna make it a four to zero versus sinners here as we head into the final section of the map we're gonna enter the identity mother and soldier on first and second place tween and kappa they're trying to get closer but it's gonna be very difficult here mother is on the way to make this an alliance four zero will it it happened. It does look like Soldier overtakes his teammate, but that is going to be Alliance taking it home. 4-0 versus Sinners. Very, very clean game there from Alliance. The All-Star Champions remain on top for now and win again. This time against Sinners with a 4-0 as we said. I mean, and I, I feel again for Sinners, which was the case last season, that the result does not really reflect the game. They were quite close. They had yeah. the bright moments. I feel the only map they really got stomped on was grip where they didn't have that one yeah, line and when you don't have one of the most crucial lines in a map like that and you no, lose yeah. point three every round there's not a lot you can do about it it's uh, it, it, in, you know in couple of the day not having that line would be the difference between division one and like division three you know it's yeah. just unfortunate if you don't have it but apart from that i think they still played well they put a lines under uh amounts of pressure and uh and you know made them made them really work for that win yeah, I mean, that was impressive gameplay by both the teams, as you can see the replays rolling. And I mean, that was just some great Trackmania esports. Now, uh, there should have been a fourth match now, but uh, unfortunately, Cormine Corp has some health issues, and that means that they had to postpone the match till.